Right, hello, hopefully we get some people on. So today um, I thought I'd just stream some Helldivers 2 rather than doing a camera stream. I also want to see how many views this gets compared to, right Rajiv, to um, doing the, um, you know, streams with the vertical sort of thing, because I bet it will get less. So this is basically a rip-off of Starship Troopers and the Terminator uh, Helldivers 2. It's mostly like online co-op, but just for this stream I'll play a couple of matches single player. Playing on my own, I'll just do an easy mission. So what's this one? A crushed escape from the region contains valuable data. Okay. Ah, that's awesome. Um, also, um, I bought, I caved in and bought the second Geiger counter that bloke was selling that was in, um, you know, fully working condition. So I've got two now, like one as a spares and repairs one and the fully working one. Just because it was one of those things I thought, if I don't buy it, I'll never see one for sale for years, and I'll um, regret not getting it. Um, with most masks, I think it should be fine with a Soviet mask. You can use stuff like a good quality silicon lubricant, and that will keep the rubber in good condition. Um... Also, tell me if the game volume is too loud compared to the mic or whatever in a moment, because I won't know. Um, but yeah, the um, you can use a good quality silicon lubricant without additives in it. Um, that normally works on most rubbers to keep them in good condition. And then it's basically don't keep it in the sunlight. You know, keep it in a dry place that doesn't get damp and then, you know, dry out constantly. And um, yeah, just keep it out of sunlight. I mean, eventually all masks, the rubber will deteriorate, but obviously you can slow it down by just keeping it in good condition out the sunlight and things like that. It doesn't matter if sunlight hits it now and again, I just mean don't, you know, have it in front of a window where every day it's going to be hit by hours of UV light. Right, cool, so we want to go up to the objective to the north, don't we? Let's see what this is over here first. Bucks. Not all of them. Right. Want the resupply as well. There is some ammo actually around here. But. See, I didn't actually need that resupply because of all the ammo and that littered around here. Yeah, I haven't played loads of this yet. I played a couple of games with friends the other evening after work before I went to bed, but I thought I'd do a load of solo playing of it just to get used to all the gameplay mechanics before I actually start playing with other people a bit more. But yeah, I bet this stream won't get as many viewers as if I just did a vertical phone one. Because like I said, the vertical phone ones seem to be the ones that get loads more views. Because of how YouTube does all its algorithm stuff now. That's a two-person bunker, so I can't go in one of those. So I'm playing solo. But can go to objective to the north. Might as well have a look at what this thing is over here. Do both of those and then go north. So I've got 37 minutes on this mission. Ah, that's good, Roger. Yeah, because I've not tried to mix it for this. I just um, have it on the normal OBS levels, and then I've got um, the game turned down a bit, so it's not as loud for me. Nothing in there. Oh, there is requisition slips. Okay. 
Ah, oh, that's good, Roger. Yeah, obviously having a good PC is great fun. Like next year, I probably will um, upgrade my PC because um, the GPU is uh, the only bit in my PC now that's actually still really good. Because obviously, like my CPU, even though it was top end when I first got this PC, it's um, quite a few years old now, and that sort of technology ages quite fast. And I'm also having issues where the motherboard, I think like some of the cooling fins or whatever on the motherboard are going slightly. So, you know, there's bits of the motherboard that build up heat faster than they should, which can lead to crashes and things. Again, it's the sort of stuff where if I wanted to keep this one running for years more, I could do. But at the same time, I'm always like with stuff like that. If, you know, technology gets better and cheaper for what it is, it might as well just upgrade. Yeah, if you get a proper filter, um, as in it would need to be one of those multi-gas ones with a particulate level 3, but I don't actually know off the top of my head which particular bit lead fumes are filtered by, but you'd want to be really careful with it. I'd say do it outside as well. That way, because um, certain filters will stop low concentrations of fumes, but not in high concentrations. So, you know, outdoors, if you're exposed to a bit of a fume with the right filter on, you're safe but indoors they can still penetrate the filter um, so there's lots of stuff like that that you just want to be careful of I'm afraid I don't know exactly what the filter is but if you buy a good multi-purpose filter um, I know lead dust itself is stopped by a particle filter but you know for fumes it might be slightly different so I'd just say get a good particulate combination filter and then just um, you know you're covering more bases than you need to Definitely need a resupply now. Is there any bug holes left open here? That one's slightly to the north. No. Yep. I'll um, have a read of your comment in a second when I'm not going to be swarmed by bugs. Right, so you say quick question document create nuclear disasters and nuclear power? Um, I think nuclear power is great. You obviously just need to design them properly. I mean, um, obviously that applies to anything because you can have accidents with coal plants, gas plants, whatever. But obviously because nuclear can last ages if you make a mistake with it, um, you need to design them properly. But nuclear is one of the best forms of energy ever, you know, we've ever come across in terms of just how long it lasts for there's little downtime and environmental impact because again you don't have um, really a bad environmental impact of nuclear stuff unless um, you have an accident whereas yes you have nuclear waste at the end of um, the process of you know using it as fuel but 
the problem, um, you know, with that is that if more money was put into looking into how to recycle it and everything, it wouldn't be as bad. But the problem is obviously a lot of people uh, do the thing um, of, you know, like not, like a lot of nations don't really put the investment into looking what to do with nuclear waste other than just, you know, getting rid of it. It's a radar thing you can turn on. I think those are the ones that show you a load of map markers. Uh, no worries, yeah. Like I said, nu nuclear is literally could be one of the best forms of energy ever. It's just the problem of, um, you know, for some reason if there's a nuclear disaster, lots more people seem to think about it than when you have, you know, like a coal plant fire that might kill loads of people. Because the interesting thing with, like, coal plants as well is, like, coal fumes and that actually cause more cancers than exposure to nuclear stuff does regularly. It's just that it, that's not really newsworthy. And again, like, Germany's now realised a big mistake. They said that they were going to phase out nuclear and then they got really reliant on Russia and that didn't work out well for them. After um, Fukushima. Okay, so is that slightly to the left? I need to set it. It's inverted controls on these or not, so I might have to turn. Yeah, it is inverted controls, aren't it? Yeah, Merkel should have never got, um, you know, decided to close nuclear power plants. France, and again, France does really well with energy because France has lots of nuclear power. Because again, solar and everything is great, but you can't just rely on it as your only source of power or wind or whatever. Like I was saying, even if you had nuclear, I wouldn't use it as the only source of power. It should be one of a few types of power. lots of bugs. Let's close that bug hole that's up there. And then I can look at that thing over there. Traction point.
tomorrow um, I'll try and do an outside um, sort of webcam style vertical stream again when I'm walking the dogs, assuming the weather's not completely awful and I can find a good place to do it again. If there's loads of other dog walkers about though I won't because I'll need to, you know, supervise the dogs more to check they don't sort of run off with other dogs and things like that. But um, when I'm in a field and the dogs, you know, there's nobody else around there, the dogs sort of are quite well behaved. And then this week at some point on the day I get a load of free time I'll do quite a long video, even though YouTube probably then won't share it properly on the um, second Radiac I bought, the one that's in fully working condition. I thought I'd take the quick stream I did down of it the other day because, you know, it wasn't that informative and I was sort of fumbling about with it, so I thought I'd do a proper edited video for it, rather than an improv stream. I haven't actually tried shotguns in this yet. That's it, it's just literally you no know, but under shotgun. It's just super powerful, I guess. coming that way. Alright, Hope. Yeah, I've been playing a bit more of this just to learn it. So I'm not playing um, co-op at the moment, I'm just doing single player to learn a load of the mechanics. I'll play against the Terminator uh, stand-ins in a minute. Yeah, we're going to liberate the shit out of these bugs. Still some alive over there, yeah. I don't know if you actually get XP or anything for just killing enemies, but I thought I might as well do it before boarding. I know you definitely get XP for doing objectives and like closing the bug holes and all that, but I think it should give me a load more medals after this one because I think that the daily objective thing was do free extractions or something. 
which is a lot easier than the one I had last night before I went to bed after work, because the one I had last night was get like a hundred kills with a strafing run, and I had typically the thing where most of the times I used the strafing run, it would um, not quite kill the bugs. It would like wound them and not kill them, so it wouldn't count. But I did get it in the end, it's just that I had to have one mission where I had to keep trying to just remember to use the strafing run every time I saw a cluster of weak bugs rather than just shooting them. Ah, there we go, yep. So can I unlock anything on this thing? I've got 28 medals. So what's this gun? Liberator Concussive. Well, we might as well claim it and have a look at what it is. Equipped. Yeah, let's try it rather than the SMG. Is there anything worth buying on here? Stun thing. Those might be useful because it means I can put them in defensive things around. Yeah, let's purchase that one. Supply pack. That's just like ammo, isn't it? Um, laser cannon. That sounds good. I'll probably use that rather than the machine gun. Well, the one of the sort of hyperspace thing and the pods going into the, um... So is there any automatons I can fight at the moment or not? So that's kind of annoying if you can't fight the automatons when you actually just want to. If It's sort of, you know, constantly, um... Yeah, so I guess at the moment you can, I can only fight the bugs rather than the automatons because all the automaton things are... Alright, let's carry on liberating the designated planets then. I'll we'll carry on with Crimsica because, um. How am I? Is that one I think with, um. The annoying firestorms on it? No, oh, let's try one on medium. Uh, I know I'm doing it solo, but. Well, this one's got an extraction point pretty close to um, the objective, so we'll try this one on medium. So that's the primary objective, that's the extraction zone. I'm just wondering if I can get that on the way easily enough. Let's, let's land by this lake, because that looks a li literally a safer area to land. Right, and then I want the laser rather than... Actually, let's change... Precision strike I don't use very much, so... How do I take it off the thing? Ah, yeah, let's just change it to that one. Okay, let's try the minefield one. Don't drink and drive. Good advice, training manual. Even though I don't think there's any vehicles in the game you can actually drive. I do like as well, actually, like you were saying with the loading screens, that it's not always the same planet in the background, that they have actually done that as well, to make it look a bit more interesting. Oh, I forgot to change my um, gun, didn't I? Still got the SMG. That's ah, alright, I'll try the other gun on the next game I do. Um, tap that no, control. Um, let's call the laser cannon in. Might as well have that from the beginning. Okay, I'm not too far here, am I? From? Oh, I am actually. Right, okay, cool. So I've got a laser.
Oh, this one has some much more dangerous big bugs on, doesn't it? That uh, are much better at killing me. Yeah, the laser at least gets them alright. That's overheated now. But yeah, these bugs do insanely more damage to me than the last lot did. Um, uh, Again, on harder difficulties, this is where you're meant to be playing a lot more co-op. So I don't know if medium is probably where it becomes a bit too difficult for one person. I have, did. I'm pretty sure I completed a medium one last night though. Is that most of those dead? Yep. So with that laser gun... Oh, it does actually reload then. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was one that had like unlimited ammo or whatever. Because the arc gun or whatever it's called is actually quite interesting because that's not that great in terms of damage output and everything, it's got unlimited ammo. So it's just one where as long as you um, do the thing that lasts a few seconds to charge it up each time. It's actually quite useful in certain places. Uh, right, oh, that's that one isn't it? Arc throw, I won't bother now because I've got a laser but... So let's close the bug things around here. Must be glowing orange things. Chuck a grenade or a thing in top of those. It says there's another bug hive down there, yep. Yeah. Um, Get that close enough to it to do anything. Let's gas strike them as well. Right, I need to be careful I don't run into my own gas because I've killed myself. No, nah, that's no worries. That said, you've uh, bought me a load of stuff recently. So I hope you enjoy it because we can play it online at some point. But Ooh, has that gone over the top yet? There we go. Right, that's that one closed. I find it quite interesting that when you call stuff in, it's like doing a little cheat code in terms of you have to press a load of button combinations. Oh, there's another one of those big bugs over there. Do you only have to reload this then if it overheats? still alive. There we go. Another big bug again. Definitely need a resupply in a minute. So they have bug holes over here somewhere. Let's 
get the resupply in for grenades. Oh, there's the bug hole. Um, let's gas it while I'm um, wait for my resupply. Oh, good. The gas strike actually wiped out the bug hole. Okay, so now up to the objective over here. Time goes pretty fast playing this game, especially when some of the missions are like 40 minutes long and then um, you realise once you've finished them you've been doing like 25 minutes on one mission. But that's obviously a sign of a game which is actually quite fun if, um, let's try the mines. Alright, I hope the bugs are dumb enough to yeah go through the mines, then we go so I can actually see them work. And yeah, as long as I'm careful I can run through my own mines, good. Yes, yeah, so the minefield actually looks pretty useful, especially because you can put it I guess near a position you want to defend. I'm still in progress, so that knocks my map out. And I can't call stuff in, can I move? And that's active. Turn the valves on. And now look, the bugs are coming to spoil my fun. Well, I don't think there's enough bugs to get through my gas very effectively. terminal now, don't I? And then turn that on. And that terminal was there. So turn that back on. And some bugs in the distance. I suppose I could just um, chuck a minefield between me and them and see if that actually stops them if they try and come this way. Bugs over there in the distance, my look of it.
Right, so I want a, another resupply, then I'll do the um, thing. Up, right, up, up, right, up, down, up. So yeah, it it's definitely, like I said, when I'm doing a stream like this or a regular webcam stream, YouTube definitely sends them out to less people than when I do vertical ones now. So that is good to know that when I'm trying to get views, I need to actually just do vertical videos, even though, like I said, it's a bit annoying because it shouldn't make a difference if it's landscape or vertical for YouTube sharing your video to their own subscribers, but whatever. Guys, again, come on, quick, make dump his face over here. down there or is that just something else? Yeah. Oh, I definitely need that. Oh, another grenade. Good. I didn't go too badly. Like I said, I didn't really do any of the side objectives, but medium is probably a bit too difficult to solo reliably. Disappointing service, even I did everything, but I suppose, yeah, it's because it wants you to do um, side missions, doesn't it? So, yeah, I might as well just stick to easy or trivial if I'm just playing by myself. I wonder if actually trivial is much less of a reward than easy. I'll check that in a second. They even have the same like blood colour as Starship Troopers, like that fluorescent green looking blood. I was gonna change my gun was my armory. Okay, so let's see Ah, so I've got a submachine gun I didn't know about. So that there's less damage than this one. That's a bigger capacity, more recoil. Big much bigger fire rate. Um try that one at some point, but the, uh, so it's this assault rifle, um, I'm not, we'll try it, but I'll probably go back to using a submachine gun, and I've got only two grenades, yeah, and the pistols, right. I, I'm glad I was able to answer your questions that you were interested in. Um, alright, let's just try trivial, because I'm interested in, um, how much XP I get.
maps objectives there, so yeah, it's trivial at least, it's pretty small maps, which is good for one person. Is there a way of saving these as a preset? Oh, it's a booster. Mm, well, that's not trying it. I just wonder if there's a way of saving it as a preset so I don't have to click them every time, but whatever. Just imagine the more of these sort of power-ups you get, the um, more you'd want probably just a preset list of them to pick from. Music here reminds me a bit of the Outer Worlds. It's actually so it's visually this reminds me quite a bit of the Outer Worlds as well. Is there a way of actually... Yeah, I'm making the barrels go there because I'm assuming that way. Yeah, I can use them as, instead of a grenade. I won't bother the anti-material rifle. That is the only thing there, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Oh, let's go to our objective over there. Try my new assault rifle out. It does have ten mags at least. Obviously less ammo in each mag. It doesn't seem too bad. I mean, obviously the SMG was much faster firing. But it'll be interesting to see how this one does against armoured bugs, because it might be a lot better against armoured bugs. Samples while I'm here. There's no way of climbing on top of that building. Some of them you can get on top of them if there's enough sort of things near them. Any bugs gonna come to uh, disrupt my flag raising?
Oh, I didn't know if that was the moat. Got to salute the flag. I guess all the bugs around this area are already dead. I'm just going to look up this little area first before going west to the objective. Okay, we got something there. Yeah, the minefield seems pretty useful. Yeah, and the next game I do, I'll probably try that other submachine gun.
so yeah, XP wise, I don't really get much less XP from doing the like lowest difficulty compared to the other one. And it's obviously a lot faster and easier doing those missions. Let's try, um... Try that other SMG. It was that one, wasn't it? The red-looking one. Oh, no. Wow. It's a wooden handle one. Extremely high rate of fire, sounds good. Although I'll probably end up mag dumping it too quickly. Um, so we're still doing Crimsica. Has the game crashed? I think the game might have crashed. Or has it? Is it? Yeah, the game's crashed. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Let's uh, re relaunch it. Right, try that again. This first crash I've actually had on it, to be honest. But yeah, I was going to do one more before I finish streaming, so uh, make this the last one like I was going to do before, but it shouldn't take too long to start up at least. Yep. Like I never left. Is it actually still got my SMG? Um, yeah, we might as well start in the south and then work our way up that way. Equipment. Yeah, it's got my SMG equipped. It's good, good still. So. I won't bother actually having the heavy gun. But I'll just find one on the map. Looks like there's some disgusting bugs around this farm. I wonder if that will automatically just strafe enemies nearby. Yeah, it looked like it did strafe some of them. 
Oh, so I think the sort of grenades for call-ins have a bit of an auto-aim kind of thing to them, so they do sort of land near where you, the cluster of enemies are, rather than just sort of exactly where you'd normally be throwing it. Which makes sense, because obviously it'd be a bit frustrating otherwise. Alright, let's try to set SMG out then. Oh yeah, that's nice. I definitely prefer that. Oh, it's the P90 style thing, okay. See if there's any other side things I can do before going over there to where the extraction point is. Ah, yeah, there's a side thing over here. This is basically an MG42 in SMG for <laughs> how fast this thing fires. Recoil was not that well. Here. Okay, I think that's everything then. Unless there's something halfway over there. Yeah, that building there might have something of interest now. In ah, the maps, there's something of interest coming up this way as well. It's a friendship bunker I can't get into because I need another player, but there's still some other bits down here. Yeah, this is the thing I was looking at. I suppose that's most of the bits found on this map. I know there was more samples, but if they are in that bunker, there's no way I can get to them. They might also have some samples over by the most northern point. Oh, there's a couple more question marks. Right, let's get these. Um, first, let's get these bugs. Is that this little thing he's found? Oh yeah, I haven't picked this stuff up before. Got more bugs. Um, let's do orbital precision strike. I'll probably run out the way of the strike, but... I don't actually know how big that 
Hopefully this one comes in, we'll find out in a second. Yeah, big but not huge. Right, um... What was the next question mark? Oh, it's just one of those unexploded bombs, this one. To whichever terminates it may concern. bugs bugs to throw a big sort of orbital strike at without cancelling it a gas strike but, um ah, never mind let's just chuck it Not many bugs attacking me. It might be just because this is on the easiest difficulty. Yeah. Uh, it might do one more on normal then. Not normal, um, easy, but not trivial that this was. Right, yeah, let's do one more then before I go off. I'll do um, an easy one. So, essentially difficulty two, because the easiest difficulty like I just did is trivial. So. Right, return to ship. Yeah, only 47 kills on that. You get a lot more kills on the harder difficulties because there just wasn't many bugs on that one. This needs your 
Alright, easy then. Let's try this one. Track down and eliminate the brood commander. Okay, so this is like a boss thing. This should be alright. Chat needs to go to all messages, not live messages. Oh, sorry, not top messages. See, so extraction zone's right at the top, so I might as well start right at the bottom, and then I can do both the objectives while going north. Don't worry, stims have zero addictive properties. Study paid for by Permacure. Permacure to put your life in our hands. Or oh, Permacure, even. Want to show how firmly you support capitalism? By your yes. Dead yet? There we go. Ah, that's why it was so tough because it was on the actual brood commanders, right? Oh, definitely need a resupply. Uh, That's one lot of bugs eliminated from there. Let's go clear up this hive area while I'm here.
got some bug holes down there. Resupply is going to take a minute. Oh. Alright, now let's head to that other objective. And I can call in gas again. Uh, everyone knows little bunkers. Oh, that bunkers like storage container things. I can't tell if that's like even it hurting or not at that range. Alright, get these two. <laughs> I guess they have to be fairly close for this arc thing to hit them. Is that the brood thing again? Oh yeah, it's quite actually good against the tough bugs, this arc gun thing. Okay. Yeah, might as well head up to this one and then finish off what we were doing. bugs that direction. Oh, the flying bugs, they're annoying. Okay, um... Check out what this, um... Question mark is over here. Oh, what's it? A looted supply cache. Yeah. Oh, well, nothing of interest there. Then. Oh, is that bug hole still open there? Yeah.
Oh, let's get that one in there. Is there another bug hole around here? Because there's still like a greyed out little objective thing here, so I don't know if that means that there's another um thing. I guess not, I can't see any more um other things. my minefield. And that worked pretty well at minefield. Right, they're going to come from another direction as well. Is that all of them? Yep. Right, I'll finish the stream in just a moment then. Yeah, like I said, tomorrow I'll do, um, if I get a chance, I'll do one of those just vertical phone streams. It's the same amount of XP as um, doing the um, other mission, though, so. It didn't really make a difference. There we go. Alright, let's just see how many bugs I killed in that game. 150, so a lot more than the one on the previous difficulty. It was only about 50 or so. Alright, have a good day everybody.